Solving a decimal word problem using a linear equation with a variable on both sides. Let's read through our description here and then we can go back and break it apart. A small publishing company is planning to publish a new book. The production costs will include one-time fixed costs such as editing and variable costs such as printing. The one-time fixed cost will be $31,772. The variable cost will be $12 per book. The publisher will sell the finished product to bookstores at a price of $23.75 per book. How many books must the publisher produce and sell so that the production cost will equal the money from sales? So the production cost will equal the money from sales. So let's look back through and look first at the production cost. Production cost. So our production cost, it says there is a one-time fixed cost of $31,772, plus there is a variable cost of $12 per book. Since it is $12 per book, we're going to have to add 12 times X, because if there's one book, it's $12, 2, 24, etc. So that's our 12 times X. That's our production cost. And then we also have some sales cost, or sales, which is $23.75 per book. So whenever we sell it, we get $23.75. It's also per book. So that's also times X, where X is the number of books. So we're told that these production costs and sales costs are equal. We're asked to find out how many books that would be. So that's our setup. We're going to take the production cost, which is 31,772 plus 12 X. And we're going to set that equal to our sales cost, which is $23.75 times X. So we've got our equation, and it has an X on both sides. So I'm going to subtract one of those X's over to the other side. I'm going to take the smaller one, this one. I'm going to subtract 12X, subtract 12X. I'm just lining up my decimals there because I know I'm going to have to subtract those. So when the 12x is cancel, my 31,772 will be equal to subtracting on the other side. They're like terms. So when I subtract, I get 1175 times x. And that leaves us with just one more step to solve for x, and that is to divide both sides by 1175 and I'm doing this to get the X by itself on the right hand side because those will cancel leaving me with just the X and if I do the division on the left hand side we'll come up with 2704 so X is the number of books 2704 that's how many we'll have to sell in order for the production cost to equal our sales cost.